Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is a very exciting one. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I've been sitting here for a long time trying to say, hey everyone, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, but today's video is a very exciting one because it is an announcement video, it's a celebration video, all kinds of good things in this video. Uh, I am announcing my news of coming out with my own brand and I'm gonna share with you what I have created and why I decided to create this collection and all of the things. So before I start to cry, let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Welcome to a new video. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I often start my videos with what I call a Vegas OOTD. I moved from Iowa about three months ago. I moved from Iowa to Vegas and uh, I, I started to show my outfits and people seem to really like it. So now I just keep doing it. So I'm going to step on all these blankets that my dog uses as her dog bed and show you. I just have this jumpsuit on today. I've worn this in several videos. I think that it's so cute. I believe I just got it from... Wait, where did I get it? Target? I think I got this one from Target like two years ago. Um, I've, I've had it for a long time. My dog does have a dog bed. It's on the opposite side of the room and for some reason she likes to bring the blankets in and lay there. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that is my Vegas OOTD. I just really like the colors. I felt like the colors... My chest is so red. I'm so nervous. I felt like the colors went along with the products that I am going to be sharing with you. So. I never, I like, I, I just did not know how to start this video and I was trying to make like a script for it or an outline or something to keep me on track, but then I thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and speak from the heart. <laughs> so back in October of 2019, <laughs> I got an idea to create some products and I was really excited for it and I started doing the designing and looking around at different companies to work with and how do you even put products together and then March 2020 happened and everything just kind of came to a standstill and even though I really wanted to keep working on this project I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to come out with products at the start of a pandemic and everything just kind of got put on hold and then throughout <laughs> throughout the next few months I decided to get back into it when it looked like we were creating a new normal and then I decided to add even more products onto it certain products that I was looking for during not only a pandemic but my own personal life of going through such a hard season I'm going through such a tough time personally and ultimately going through a divorce and going through a divorce in the public eye. I started looking for different products to help me with my day to day and when I couldn't find them I decided why not make them and then I thought why not make a whole collection of these products that I wanted to create. I initially wanted to launch this brand in February of 2021 before I did make the move uh, from Iowa to Vegas but one of the products it just was so hard to put together multiple different companies just it became so much that we finally finalized it right before I did move and then to put everything else together that's why we were finally launching this in July of 2021 so I, I'm really excited it's been such a long time coming it has been such a huge my dog is next to me if you can hear me she doesn't like when I cry she gets really upset so she literally is right next to me um, trying to make sure that I'm okay um, but it has been such a learning experience. It has been such a process. Uh, also, if you are maybe new to my channel, I am also a self-published author of eight novels. So I have gone through an experience of creating my own books and putting them for sale that way. But this is a completely different ball game. I don't have anyone else like backing me up. I, I'm not working with Amazon and Kindle Direct Publishing and everything is through me. My entire apartment is full of inventory. Um, because I wanted to launch this in February, I had over half of my inventory at my house in Iowa and then had to transport it here to Las Vegas. Like, it has been such a hard thing. Um, but it just makes me more excited that the day is finally here. So, uh, I, I do have a beauty YouTube channel and my Instagram is mostly focused on beauty, but I love so much more than beauty. I also love books. I love fitness and fashion, but I've also always had 
a different side of me that really cares about inspiring other people. I started to put my life on the internet in 2009 when I was in my young 20s. That is when I started my blog, which is chickletplus.com. That is when I started to open up to the internet, which was a very strange thing to be doing in 2009. In 2011, I published my first book, which is heavily influenced by my life. Some of my true life stories are in that book. And from there, I just kept opening up and kept opening up throughout the years. One thing that I realized starting at age 11 is that when you open up to people and when you share your stories and when you share your hardships, other people can really connect with that and it can actually really help change other people's lives. That is something I learned at a young age because I did experience sexual abuse and when I came forward with it, a girl that I knew who I was friends with at the elementary school, she then came forward with her own abuse story and she had told me, and I can remember where I was standing in the library on that day, she told me if I hadn't come forward she probably would have never have come forward about her abuse. And that always stuck with me throughout the years, throughout middle school, throughout high school, throughout college. It always stuck with me. If I share parts of myself, the sad parts, the hard parts, the ugly parts, the parts that a lot of times we want to shy away from, if I can share those, I can maybe help other people. And I have seen it firsthand throughout all of these years. It's definitely not for everybody. Sharing your life on the internet is not for everybody. Sharing small snippets is not for everybody. But sharing the nitty gritty and the ugly sides and the hard times and the sad times, that's really, really hard to put yourself out on the internet. Even compared to 2009 to 2021 is a completely different story. But I continue to see how it impacts other people. And it continues to inspire me to see others who turn to the internet and see people sharing their stories and then they get inspired from that. It's just like a whole circle of inspiration and it truly touches me in ways that I feel so incredibly thankful for and I feel like I have such a purpose for. In August 2019, I ran what I called like a healthy habits challenge here on YouTube and some of my other platforms. And basically it was just a month long challenge where um, I wanted to share uh, a healthy habit every day and I would put out a video about it or a post about it. And so many people joined in on the challenge and I still have people that talk to me about that even now. And that was something that really surprised me. Again, being a mostly beauty focused channel, I didn't really know like how it was going to go over, but I've always felt this drive to, to do more and try to create more. And when I saw the feedback on that, that's what inspired me so much to do something more with that idea. I started to create um, just these daily, or I'm sorry, these monthly calendars. And I would post them on my blog, I would post them in my private Facebook group. And basically it was just, just a blank calendar um, with a little design on it. And I would share it and people could download it and print it out and write their own one healthy habit on there. And from there, that's what kind of spurred the idea to do something more, which led us into October 2019 of actually starting to put this together. And all of that leads us to where we are today and what I am launching right now. So I guess that's how we're gonna segue into the products, but I wanted to give a little bit of backstory on why I had this idea, where it came from, why I wanted to do it, and why I was inspired to do it. So um, my brand is by Samantha March. Uh, that is the name of my brand. That's my name on, what is it, Twitter and also on TikTok. I'm just by Samantha March. And that's what I decided to have the, the brand be under. And this first collection has six different products in there and they are all in the Start Inspired collection. So um, that's kind of like the theme with everything that we have. So. Uh, first up, this was the first product that I started working on and the, <laughs> the one that took the longest to come together, and I will be honest, I'm not 100% thrilled with how it came out and I went back and forth for such a long time of not launching it, launching it later, going back to not launching it. It just, 
for whatever reason, what I had in my head could not be translated with the companies that I was wanting to use. I really wanted to support small businesses with my own brand and work with a small business. Um, I, I really wanted to focus on a US based business and there was some other some other factors in there that I really wanted when I was choosing the, the companies to actually produce these products for me and I tried it, it, I, it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> um, my, my virtual assistant, Emily, I, I know feels my pain. A lot of my friends on Marco Polo, I know they feel my pain because it just was like, I was in tears so many times over this, but I really wanted to launch something like this. It was my first idea. It was what I really wanted to come out with. And and I'm still excited for it. Um, but this is the Start Inspired 90 Days Healthy Habits Planner. So this is a 90 day planner. <laughs> and uh, Start Inspired is the name of my podcast, which is coming back for a new season very soon, which I'm very excited for. I've been trying to get a lineup going and guests and all of the things and new equipment and just all of, all of the things for the podcast but my podcast is called start inspired um and that was kind of a, a motto that i i started to to live by back in 20 back in 2019. i am not sure there was a point of wearing makeup in this video <laughs> which i figured would happen but i was just i was thinking about how towards the end of 2019 i found this new focus and i was so inspired and motivated by it and how it really changed my life and going into 2020 I was able to make such a huge life change and I'm so grateful for that I'm just so oh gosh I just can't tell you how grateful I am for the support and the community it means so much but um, to get into the Start Inspired, the 90 Days Healthy Habits Planner um, so the front here is just laminated and then the binding is like what I wasn't loving. Like I could not get the binding right. I, I had no idea binding was going to be so difficult. That was not something I expected. Um, it just, it, it like truly shocked me. Um, and then we just have the cover here. And then when you open it up, um, it just says the 90 days healthy habits, how, healthy habits planner belongs to, and then create it by Samantha March. And then inside there's a variety of different pages. So you do have a notes page, which I'm constantly using. I do use this myself, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I always have mine filled out. I'm, I'm using it all of the time. And then over here, we do have a word search. So it just says start small, find all 10 words to start inspired. So all the 10 words that are in here kind of pertain to starting inspired. I do love a word search. It's one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I did like a word search challenge for a while on my Instagram. I know a lot of you really enjoyed it. It was called Sam Squad Search. And I still get comments from people of, are you bringing it back? It just, I've been working on this project for such a long time. So um, we do have uh, three different word searches in here. So that's the first one. And then the next page is just kind of an overview of the month. And I'll be doing close-ups as well of everything, but we have a word of the month. That is something that I always choose. Once again, I always put that on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is March Beauty Word. I have a highlight in there with, uh, there's a list of word of the year ideas and I choose one every month. There's also a spot for top goals and then some prompts to feel inspired. I, this month, why not? That's in memory of my Aunt Bonnie who passed away in January of 2020. Um, and right before she had passed our last conversation, she was telling me an idea and she kept saying, why not, why not? So after she passed, that kind of became my, my motto for the year and it's just kind of continued over. And then healthy habits to focus on. There's a note section, uh, a place for important dates. And then there's a little quote here. It just says, choose to live inspired. So that's one of the pages to fill out. Then we also have goals at a glance. This is one of my favorite pages. I designed all of these pages. I am not a designer. I am not artistic, visually creative person in that way. It was so challenging to do this, beyond challenging to do this but I'm really proud with how everything came out and I absolutely love this page. So this is goals at a glance, you have your month and then you could just have a list to write down your different goals, personal, professional, health, financial, community, and self-care. 
all things that I think are very important. I'm really big on writing things down. I know a lot of people have shifted electronically or to your computers for things like this. I am still someone who really believes in writing things down. I really do believe in the power of that, the power of writing things down, of journaling, of manifesting. It's something that I personally believe in and I just feel like when you write something down, when you take the time to write it down and you can constantly go back and look at it, it'll keep you inspired and it'll keep you motivated to keep on that. So I absolutely love this page. And then we go into the daily pages. So there's space at the top for, it says today and then the date. So like Friday, Sunday, whatever, and then the date. So this is an undated planner. I did it for a couple different reasons. One, I had no idea when this planner was actually going to be able to be produced. So to put a date on it, just seemed like the stupidest thing in the world. So with how many issues we were running into, we changed printers multiple times. I had no idea when this was going to come out, but also I like it a little bit better because I've purchased a lot of planners throughout the years. And one thing that I would do, you know, a lot of times on weekends, I try not to be in my planner. Um, sometimes I'm traveling and I don't have my planner for a week. And then there's all these missed pages. And it's like, I know that I can technically use a page that says, Monday even though it's Friday but for me it's just like I can't like I just I like I, I realize that I actually like things to be undated because I feel like it gives me a little bit more freedom and I feel like I get more use out of the product that way so that's another reason why it is undated um, and then we have space for prioritize you know your top priorities through the day we have a schedule so you can put the time in if you have any scheduled appointments or reminders that you need there's a to-do list over here with little areas where you can check things off because I love to check things off there's a spot also for a healthy habit which also ties in with another product that you'll see coming by but like I said I think healthy habits is very important to write down so we have a space for a healthy habit we also do have a tracker so sometimes I'll track my water just to make sure I'm having enough intake sometimes I track my vitamins <laughs> um, so that's just like a spot where I can do that and then we have some notes at the bottom so um, yeah so that is what the daily pages look like and then there are 30 pages in a row of that and then once we get to the end of those 30, then we just kind of start over from the beginning. So we have, oh no, I'm sorry. We have a looking back page first. Can't forget the looking back. So our looking back page for the month, I have a spot for, um, for grateful for. Then I have monthly wins. So you can write down all of your wins, big or small. I think it's really important to also write those down, remember them, feel grateful for them. And then the prompts at the end of the month to stay motivated, I, this month I valued, next month I couldn't prove. And then we also have a note section once again, and then a quote, your soul is strong. Then after the looking at back page, then we start from the beginning where we have notes. Then we have another word search, and this says start with intention, find all 10, find all 10 words to start inspired. So there's 10 new words in here. Then we have um, the month, so your word of the month to feel inspired. We have the quotes. We have your goals at the glance for this month and then we start in with the next 30 pages until we get to the looking back page uh, then we have notes page and then one more word search see if, uh, this one says start inspired find all 10 words to stay inspired so a new word search month goals at a glance then it goes into the next 30 pages and so again for me because i don't fill out this every single day sometimes i will like do things out of order if i get to the end of the month but i'm not quite there in the planner i'll just skip ahead a little bit to fill out my goals page and things like that i mean it's your own planner you can do whatever it is that you want to do um but that uh, then leads us to looking back and then we have a couple pages of notes here so that is the planner um, it's pretty customizable to you and to how you know how you want to do it how you want to fill it out I really wanted to create those few extra pages that I felt like added a little bit of me in there but I do also think it's really important and this it's something that I would always try to do at the beginning or the end of the month is to look back and reflect and then also look forward and get myself motivated for a new month um, so that was everything that I wanted to put in here I don't have a calendar because once again this is undated but I will be having the calendars available on Chiclet Plus if you do want to download and print out a free monthly calendar um, you can definitely do that you can stick it in your planner you can tape it in here however you would want to do it but those will be available to download for free on Chiclet Plus but this is the planner 
um, the 90 day healthy habits planner. This is going to retail for $50. Everything's going to be available on my website, which is chickletplus.com. There, there's going to be the shop by Samantha March page on there. So that will be linked in my description box. Um, so make sure to check it out there, or you can head to chickletplus.com um, and you will see it there. Uh, there is international shipping available. Um, in the US, the shipping is free on all orders. So whatever it is that you order, it would be free. International shipping, I can't quite cover everybody's shipping for that, but international shipping is, is available. Um, so I wanted to mention that. And uh, also just to say that shipping times are still, you know, pretty backed up, especially for international orders. And I, I can't really control that, but it is something I wanted to say. And my friend Michelle Wong, who's launched her own brand recently, she let me know too that shipping, especially international, can take a really long time. So just something that I wanted to point out there. Um, but that is the planner. And even though it didn't come together like <laughs> quite in the way I envisioned it, and it was a way harder and a way more expensive process than I thought it was going to be. I'm still really proud of it. It's still, it's it's what I've been using. I've gone through so many different like test runs of this planner. It's what I've been using for the past several months now. You've probably seen it somewhere in like YouTube videos or like my TikToks when I share like about my day. I, I feel like you've probably had to have seen it in there at some point um, because it's just what I've been using for such a long time. And, and I, I, I love it. I love all the pages. Um, I'm really proud of myself that I designed them because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing and it's not my specialty is that. So I'm really proud with how it all came together. Uh, so that's the first product. And then I do have uh, notepads. And the notepads came to me as one of those ideas of, I was trying to find something like this and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So I thought, why not go ahead and create it myself? And the first thing that I wanted was, I was traveling so much in 2019 and I had so much travel planned in 2020. I would get bothered that I couldn't bring my planner because my planners are typically bigger. They're, 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 they're typically a larger size and it's just harder to travel with them. It's harder to store. And I felt like I just wanted like a pocket size planner or something just real small that I could throw into my bag because I still wanted to start my mornings off with a plan, with gratitude, with something. I love my morning routines. I have podcast episodes about it. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it on YouTube. Creating a morning routine just for me really kind of kicked things off and started to change my life around and it's such a small thing to be able to do but it's something that really does help keep me grounded so i created the daily habits notepad so this is kind of like a condensed version of a planner so maybe a 90-day planner is not for you maybe you're someone who also um, travels a lot now that travel is starting to be open again and this would be something that you would like in addition to the planner maybe it's something that you could like bring to work but basically um this one here is a um like the the rip off paper so one of my ideas for doing it this way was that say i'm going somewhere for like two nights i don't even have to bring all of this i can just rip off two sheets of paper and put it in my purse or my bag and then i'm able to still fill it out so you have a space on top for the date and then you have your to-do list with the little places where you can check them off because that's very important to me you also have a spot for your healthy habit because again i think that's very important to focus on one thing just break it down super super small that was the point of the challenge break things down super small and focus on one healthy habit that day. And the more that you do that, the more that it becomes just a part of your routine. And then there's also a place for your schedule. There's a place for your daily gratitude because I think that is so, so important to stop and remember and remind ourselves for what we feel grateful for. And then there's also a section for notes. So kind of like the condensed version of the planner. Um, but I absolutely love this notepad. I have used it so much. I just like, I, sometimes I'm just ripping the pages out. Sometimes I'm taking the whole notepad with me, but I, love the way this came out i love the colors and there are 100 pages in here i love the quality of them so there's 100 pages and this is going to retail for 25 dollars. next up this came because i got really into affirmations and also gratitudes but also i'm gonna start to cry again but also speaking speaking more kindly to myself which to me is 
kind of along the lines of what affirmations are. And I get that not everyone is into this stuff and not everyone believes this stuff and that's fine because you can choose to believe whatever you want. But I know from my own life, when I stopped talking so negatively to me, I saw what that did. When I started to speak positively to myself and I started to say these positive affirmations, my life has completely changed because of it. And I just, I really firmly believe it was because I started to change my mindset. I started to change my outlook and it started to change me. When I started to believe those words that I was saying to myself because I have spoke down to myself for years. I was just having this conversation with Risa when we went to California the other day. And I said, you know, my, my life was so hard for so many years from a young girl. All kinds of bad things happened to me. And I just started to assume that that's what life was supposed to be about. I was just chosen to have bad things happen to me and it was what it was. So when bad things happened, I just said, I deserve that. This is why I was, this is why I'm here. Like, I'm like the punching bag. This is just what happens to me. And I said that well into my 20s. And so when I finally stopped, it really just made such a big difference. And I wanted something where I could have a place to go and write down these affirmations, um, you know, new ones that I come across, ones that I feel like are important to me, gratitudes. So I came up with the Mindful Daily Prompts Notepad. So at the top we have affirmations, um, we also have gratitude, and then focus, which is kind of like the healthy habit also. So I have a place, if I just wanna take some time um, and just, just take a moment for myself. I can write down the affirmations and what I want to tell myself. Um, I can focus on my gratitudes, list out everything that I'm grateful for right now, and then also my focus, the healthy habits, or just what it is that I'm focusing on in this moment. So I love this page. Um, there's a lot of times, especially if we have like a full moon, a new moon, or things like that, there's times where I'll, I'll really, I'll, I'll take a lot of time and just be by myself, and I'll fill this out and really read it and think about it, and I love the way that it came out. Once again, this one is 100 pages, same style as the other one, and it's gonna retail for $25. Then I have two different styles of um, just a week at a glance. So the first one, this was something that I created solely for myself, and I wasn't really thinking about putting it for sale, um, but I decided to at the end. So for this week at a glance, we have Monday through Sunday, and then there's little prompts filled in. So there's focus, film, and upload. So this is kind of like for basically for like YouTubers or content creators or whatever it may be. I just am not someone who's a digital person. I don't know, <laughs> my job is on the internet and it has been for many years, but I just can't get in the groove and my assistant will tell you, like I can't get in the groove of putting a calendar or a schedule online. I don't know what it is. I need to write things down. Even if I cross things out, I still, I need to have them written down. I don't, I don't, I don't know why it is. So that's, this I love because I just set it on my desk and I can always glance at it and see what it is. I can see what it is that, again, focus, kind of my healthy habit. I can see what I'm going to film that day and I can see what I'm going to upload that day. So I know this one's not going to be for everybody and that's why I said I wasn't really sure I wanted to put it out there, but if you're someone like me and you like to write down your schedule, you like to see what your week at a glance looks like and that's something of your focus you definitely could or if there's like you know if this pertains somehow to your job or your career you could definitely do it too but I use this all the time I use it every single week uh, I do my scheduling and my planning on a Saturday and I fill this out every single Saturday I love it I don't like I don't know if I'm the only one who likes to write things down but I just I have to have this week at a glance by my computer at all times so this one has 50 pages and it's gonna retail for $25 and then if you still like the idea of a week at a glance this is basically the exact same thing it is completely blank so Monday through Sunday and you can fill out whatever it is you want to fill out your schedule your um, uh, if you want to use this as to write down your healthy habits because sometimes I find it helpful to write them out in advance Which is why I had the monthly calendars go up on my website and in my private Facebook group Or you could use this to write down your healthy habits and then anything else any other reminders appointments anything like that um, That's what you could also do for the week at a glance here So same thing this one is 50 pages and it's going to retail for $15 
And then we have one more, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I have one more product and this is one that I'm so excited about. I love the way that this came out. It exceeded any expectation. I thought this was going to be the hardest thing to do. I had no idea where to begin for this, but it came together so quickly, much more, uh, much faster than I thought it was going to. And I absolutely love how it came out. So this is the deck of healthy habits. <laughs> so this is a card deck. Once again, this came from my, an idea of something that I wanted, but I couldn't find for myself. So I thought, why can't I make it? I wanted to, you know, I've started to get more into the spiritual side of things and I watched some like tarot readings and things like that. And I, I, I heard about like angel cards and that sort of thing, but I'm not like fully over to that side, but I really liked the concept of pulling a card and having it kind of resonate with you, having it give you a focus for your day, for your week, for your month, whatever it may be. And then my brain just kind of kept spurning from there. And I was like, oh, if I, if I could just find a deck of cards that would make sense for me. And I looked everywhere and I just couldn't find what it was that I was looking for. And then I thought I will just make it myself. And then I thought, why not have that be my healthy habits? And in one of my podcast episodes, how to write out your own healthy habits calendar. And I give the different sections of, you know, a personal goal and a community goal and a self care goal and a professional goal. And so I just took all of those and I made the deck of healthy habits. So this is the outer box. I just love this packaging so much. This is what you've been seeing me do, except it has the SM in there for my name, but I didn't put that on the box because this is just the, the deck of healthy habits. Um, but that's kind of like the branding that I've been, I've been using because I just love these colors so much. And then the cards look like that. And then we have 52 cards in here. And the idea behind this is that you can draw a card every single day and it can give you something to focus on. Um, you can use the card deck to fill out your monthly or your weekly healthy habits. You can draw a card every week, every month. You can draw a card for whatever it is. You're going into your birthday season, you wanna draw a card, draw a card. But there's just different healthy habits written on each one. So we have random act of kindness, start something new, clean up. <laughs> reward yourself. I've actually posted some pictures of the cards on uh, Instagram and people were trying to guess and someone said, is, a, is it a bookmark? You could definitely use these as a bookmark if you want it to, but I absolutely love the quality of these cards. I worked with such a great company out of Miami um, to create these. They were so nice to be able to work with and I, I really enjoyed, um, they have a very like sustainable mission with a lot of their products and I was able to choose their 100% uh, post-consumer recyclable box here and I just loved that idea so it's a little bit more of like a matte style print on this one but I, I thought that was a really cool initiative and mission that they have with their company and I really wanted to choose that but the cards they just they feel glossy and smooth and the colors are just beautiful and vibrant and I designed every single one of these cards myself <laughs> Oh my goodness, and it was so daunting. And Emily and I, my sister and I, we were looking over those cards like crazy because of course I had like doubles of some and like some that didn't quite make sense. It just, it was a whole thing to put this deck of cards together, but it's my absolute, like, I know I shouldn't have favorites, but this is my absolute favorite product and I love this. I love this so, so much. Um, I know that the deck of cards, I'm gonna keep coming back with them. Um, the planner, I, I'm just, I'm gonna wait to get your feedback if you like it, I, cause I'm just, you know, I'm not quite sure about it. The notepads, I definitely could, you know, bring back if anything happens to run out, you know, I could do another run of those, but the cards are like, they're here to stay. This is my favorite product. I worked so hard on these and I, I just, I love them so much and I use them so much. I'm that person that every single day I'm drawing a new card. It just gives me a little something to focus on. I write it in my healthy habit spot on my planner and I love it. I love how these came out. So there's 52 cards in here. So you get the cards and also the box. And this is going to retail for $40. All right, so that is everything for the first collection under my brand by Samantha March. This is the Start Inspired collection. I 
did this completely on my own. I don't have anyone helping me. I had no one else backing me. I put up almost my entire savings account to be able to create these products and then get the inventory. I'm doing it all myself. I will be packing all of the boxes and printing all the labels and taping everything up and taking everything to the post office. That will, that will all be on me, but it has been such a, a fun experience. It's been very challenging, but it has been such a fun experience to be able to do this and to create something and to create something that I'm so passionate about that I love so much and that are all products that I use and a lot of them were created because I felt like something was missing and I thought that I could just go on and do it myself. So I'm really proud of this. I know it's not gonna be for everybody and it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea and it's not beauty related and it's not my next book, <laughs> but it's something that I just felt really drawn to be able to create and I feel so thankful that I was able to do this and that I'm able to come out with these brand, this brand and come out with these products. Uh, so like I said, they're gonna be available for sale through my website, which is chickletplus.com. So there's their an own separate shopping page there. So you can add products to the cart. Um, like I said, there is uh, free shipping for US customers on all orders, and then there is also international shipping available uh, if you are an international consumer and if you're interested in any of the products. So I will have that link down below. I tried to order as absolutely as much inventory as I could because nothing is, is dated. You know, I can, I can have the inventory here at my apartment for however long that I need be. So I just purchased as much as I physically could front myself <laughs> for the money without taking out a business loan. Um, and so, I, I, I mean, I think we should be okay if anything does happen to sell out and there is, you know, seeming to be a high demand for it. I can definitely order some more um, once the business starts to make money. Obviously, we know how a business runs, so then I will be able to order more. Um, but I've already gotten started on the next collection that I want to come out with and I just want to keep expanding and coming out with more and more products and products that I feel really passionate about and that I want to use myself and that I feel like will actually, you know, maybe make a difference to people. I just, I so highly believe, I so highly believe in believing in yourself. I so highly believe in taking time for yourself every single day to focus on you, to take a breath, to remember what you're grateful for. This past year was hard for everybody. It was, it, there's no one that was not affected by 2020 and some of us struggled more than others and some of us had other things going on behind the scenes besides just a pandemic. And I just really started to understand the importance of taking care of yourself and making sure that you are happy. And that's what I want. And that's what I wanted these products to focus on. So whether you're interested in grabbing something or not, if you're watching this video, I thank you so much. If you share anything, I thank you so much. If you decide that you wanna purchase any of the products in the Start Inspired collection, I thank you so, so much. Um, like I said, I'm a one woman show and I will be doing everything as fast as I possibly can. I got a thermal printer that prints out these labels real quick and I'm very excited. I feel very fancy with this new printer um, and I, I, I'm gonna be working as hard as I can to get these out as fast as I can and I'm so excited to hear your feedback. I would love to know what products you would like to see in the next collection and I'm just gonna keep working hard and I feel so grateful that I can do this and I can live this kind of dream. So thank you to everyone who has supported me, especially through this last year especially as I decide once again to choose to share about this publicly and how hard things have been. It really does mean a lot to me and I'm very, very grateful. So that is it for today's video. I feel like I cried the whole time, but hopefully you were able to get the gist and see all of the products. Um, and that's it. That's it. Thank you so much, me and Aries. We say thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you're excited, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. My hair tie just broke, so we are definitely ending the video now. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.